what is going on moving me on moving me um <clears throat> i'm sorry i put you through that singing if you want to hear Don't. great singing, go see In the Heights. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> before before we get into it, guys, thank you to the Movie Meal Patron, Steve, Kimberly, Karen, uh, for supporting the show. Go be a member of the Patreon, guys. No another happy landing this week. The Star Wars podcast I do with uh, guest host Tanner. Um, he is on vacation visiting me, so getting him to sit down and film something he didn't finish <laughs> has been tough. Uh, Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Go get some Movie Meals merch. I got the I Miss the Movie shirt on today. Uh, it's awesome stuff. Use the promo code Movie Meals. Get 20% off. Limited time. Big drop about to happen in, in just a little bit here. So hold your horses too. Um, but here we are uh, in the Heights. Kyle and I got a chance to see it. I was, I'm was i seeing it again on Sunday. My family's been hyped to see it. They were like, we want to go see it. We want to go see it. It was tough to figure out a day to, fig- to go see it with them. And then, you know, Tanner came up and visited. A bunch of us are hanging out, and they all want to see it. They haven't been to a movie in a year and a half. This was kind of cool going with people where I've been fortunate enough to go back living in a smaller area. He lives in Mm -hmm. Seattle, so he came in. It was kind of cool just getting to sit there, and what a great movie to come back for them to the theater with. It was awesome. Uh, But let's (laughs) let's get in. I'm going to try. This is a non-spoiler review. I'm warning you though, I will warn you again if I do spoil this movie, I'm going to try hard not to because I just I love this movie and I can't wait to see it again on Sunday. Do you want to go first, man? Just go no, ahead and take the no, reins. You go, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, don't you ever don't you ever stray from the format. The math right. is set. Kyle, you just Kyle, hey, are Kyle, giddy. Hey, Kyle. What yeah? what'd you think? What are your what were your positives, my guy? Yeah, I love this movie. It's so I really, freaking uh, good. It's it's really good. It, it it it's a good it's a good movie that tells a story uh, that I think a lot of people don't really know about a certain you know type of culture, a certain Puerto Rican culture, uh, in the in the ways that like the people you know celebrate, live life to the fullest, how they uh, love family so much, how they love music so much, um, and it's just infectious. Like it just makes you want to be singing along with them, makes you want to dance along with them. And it, tonally, it just works great. Like there's the highest of highs, but there's also the lowest of lows, but it never, it feels like one is pushing itself from the other. It just feels that, like this smooth progression of seeing these characters' stories and them trying to aspire the dreams that they have, trying to aspire romances that they have, trying to aspire, uh, y- you know, just living life to the fullest that they are trying to get out of themselves. And, um, you know, despite just so many emotions that are going through it, you're in it from beginning to end. And, you know, obviously there's a musical, so we have to talk about the music. Just about every single song is awesome. It, they're a lot of fun, and they also do, like, what the story does, where they can be emotional, but they also have, like, their high points as well, to where you just want to be dancing along with them. And You know, Lin-Manuel Miranda, John uh, Chu as well, they did a really great job of handling this movie. We need to give John Chu more credit, too. Like, that guy is a really good director. Um, him Incredible. and Crazy... Him with this and Crazy Rich Asians, the dude has really been killing it. So props to him. But Miranda, he just knows he knows how to tell stories and he knows how to tell them with uh, um, great lyrics, great music, uh, j- just really inspiring stuff that he's able to nail. And, you know, a couple of years back, I was kind of poo-pooing this guy, but I got to give him props after seeing Hamilton finally and understanding him more and seeing this movie now. I got to give him the major credit. Like this dude is just such a creative genius. And I understand why he is getting as big as he is right now. And he deserves it. And uh, the cast is just, you know, incredible as well. They were clearly entertained throughout the whole thing. Um, and they were clearly having a great time and it just oozes through the screen and makes you have so much fun. This movie is really, really great. I've never looked at John M. Chu's direct directorial Kyle, uh, have uh, you filmography? Uh, he directed briefly, Step I'm... Up to the Streets. He directed yeah. Step Up 3D. He directed Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. He directed yeah, he G.I. Joe Retaliation. Then he directed Justin yeah. Bieber's Believer. Then he did Gem in the Holograms. That movie stunk. Oh, then he yeah. did Now You See Me Too. Okay. And then yeah, he takes a fine. break for two years and comes out with crazy rich Asians and then follows it up with this. Are you kidding me? He, he, he changed his career for the better. Yeah. I he think figured he played out, the game. 
I think yeah. he played the game. I think he played yeah. the game, did what he needed to do to get up there, finally got the opportunity to make a passion project like uh, Crazy Rich Asians, and now he's getting to make what he wants, I think is is my guess. He's a great director. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it – it's a matter of finding the right projects. Like I think he was on the right track when it came to the step up movies and to even the Justin Bieber movies, though I haven't seen those, but I think he knew what, what his uh, niche was. I think he understood like what he was great at when it came to directing, but he just needed to find the right projects. And I think between this and crazy rich Asians, I think he finally found his groove And, and, and it does take a while. He played the long game, but I think it's turning out really well for him. And like I said, give him major props. The dude worked hard and he figured out what he needed to figure out uh, when it came to directing and he got the right projects and got the job. Yeah. Lin-Manuel is, is a gift to the world. The man, um, they showed his trailer with Andrew Garfield for his first directorial debut as like a film director. I'm I'm curious about that one. How we didn't, I didn't even know that trailer existed. How you didn't text me and we didn't react to that is beyond me because that trailer was amazing. And I was like, this is going to be good. And what he is doing, one, to everybody who's like, look, Lynn has a very small part in this movie. He, I know he publicly has talked about he wanted this small role that he had written. Um, People bashed on him when the Hamilton movie came out. He's just not the best singer. He wrote a great thing. I mean, obviously, yes, they gave him a ton of praise, but he always, he got a lot of flack. He's not the best singer. He didn't get the best songs. Even though he's the lead, he didn't get the best, best, blah, blah, blah. He has one song in this that like really, it's just him. And it's awesome. And he shows his vocal range, I think, better than anything in Hamilton, honestly. Um, Oh, he, okay. I mean, I mean, I'm talking his vocal range. I wanted to hear those high Still. notes. You know what I'm talking about? He Still. knocked that song out of the park. This movie is infectious. It yeah. made me literally want to just get on a table and dance. And I can't dance. This movie is not only <laughs> infectious, it's culture. It is mm-hmm. passion. Um, I loved every second of this movie. I am pumped to see it again. I'm going to pull up the IMDB here one more time real quick. Because I want to make sure I shout at everybody. Anthony uh, Ramos, who yeah. I've been a fan of for quite a while. You've Corey been championing Hawkins, him. We've been fans of him forever. <sighs> Since uh, uh, his, Leslie, uh, Straight Out Compton. Yes. Yeah. Leslie that dude, Grace. That dude was so good in this. Who plays Nina. And then mm-hmm. uh, Melissa. I'm going to butcher this last name, uh, Melissa, and I am sorry. Uh, ben- Barrera. Melissa Barrera. Um, and then I think Gregory Diaz, those five, and there is a lot of talent in this great talent, ascending talent, but these mm-hmm. five are superstars, whether they get there or not is going to be up to their career paths. You know, the many moving claws, managers, the Hollywood <laughs> machine. Yeah. I mean, you look at a guy yeah. like Zach Efron, who is a talent, but has just the crappiest manager, but these five, better. these yeah. five are superstars. I, I mm-hmm. mean, Anthony already, didn't he sign on to a Marvel project? I thought he signed on to a, a superhero Transformers. project. Uh, oh, Transformers it was Transformers. Yeah. It was Transformers. Yeah. He is incredible. It, literally, when the movie ended, one of the first things I thought of was Lin-Manuel at the Oscars when Anthony introduced him, and he was mm-hmm. like, this kid's going to be a star. You watch out. Corey Hawkins, mm-hmm. amazing. I mean, those they were so good. Um, Melissa really blew my socks off with how good she was. Um, Mm -hmm. the dancing was fantastic. The songs were incredible. I mean, the second I got choreography, yes. The second I got in the car, I put it on. I just put it on Mm -hmm. and you're right. This movie, it is tough to make me cry in a movie. Like I either have to have massive nostalgia built up, like in the force awakens Mm -hmm. of just the pure end game, you know, 22 movies of just pure payoff and just awesomeness as a nerd you know, mm-hmm. and then I think of a movie um, uh, uh, um, like Your Name, which is a movie that hit me with how good it is at its subtlety, performances, and just storytelling that it made me actually tear up and cry. This movie, I didn't do it. I got, I got the closest I've ever been to the point where I literally was like, a tear is about to fall down my face, and it didn't. And I was shocked oh, it didn't. My, my theater was blubbering. 
Oh <laughs> like no, the some... theater was blubber, and I was just talking about me. Yeah, but that, I know, that's but I'm tough. Just... Yeah, but I, I was just saying, like, it's good if not you, someone in your theater is gonna cry. Tears of joy, tears of sadness, you know, whatever. It's I was next to Tanner yeah. and Olivia, and I could hear the sniffles. I could hear them, mm-hmm. hear hear them struggle. There, mm-hmm. there is a now. Look, I had a favorite song. Um, that I think is my favorite song just to, just to listen to in general. It's the one I listened to the most after I got out of the theater, uh, just driving around today. Um, and, but there is a song that I actually think in the context of the movie is the best. And it's that one, the one that's going to make you make you cry. If that song is not nominated for best song at the Academy Awards, then they need to close down. Kyle, well, they we'll might burn it. They might need to we'll close down it. already. <laughs> you, me, and Kevin <laughs> Hart will burn movie. them to the ground if they yeah. don't. If <laughs> if nothing from In the Heights gets nominated, I'm gonna honestly. This is the best movie of 2021 already for me by a mile. I mean, granted, hasn't been a lot, but movies this finally is, just started coming out. This is oh, speaking yeah. of that, I read an article that said in the in America 97% of theaters are back at least working in some capacity, which is the right. most since the pandemic, which is amazing to see. And my theater was in a smaller one and it was pretty uh pretty packed. Uh, I mean, we got the very end, like we had to be on the end oh. where you know, easy access out. Uh, you were at like the ticket. earliest showing of two. Yeah. I mean, for me too, so that summer Summer's just started, so I think I think families were like, "Oh, this movie's coming out!" Like I, they picked mm-hmm. the perfect time because for us, it literally summer hit this week. But for many many people across the country, it's happening. But man, I just like the first thing I got out is like I just sat there thinking, "This movie's on HBO right now. I can go watch it again." But That's I don't want to. I don't want to. Yep. Because I know I'm going to get it on Sunday, and I want to let it build because you should this look go go see this in the movie theater make yourself as safe as possible if you're if you need to be comfortable but you need to see this in the theater always but if you yeah go go to the latest showing no one will be at go to the earliest showing no one will be at go to go to see this in the movie hearing those songs hearing everything i was getting goosebumps i love this and lin lin manuel wrote this before hamilton this was a Broadway show before oh. Hamilton. Did you not know Did not that? No, know that. No, I had no idea. Yeah. yeah, see, a lot of people, when they heard, like I remember on the internet where when the first trailer came out, it was like, oh, Lynn just is doing the same thing. And it's like, actually, first of all, if you watch this and you listen to all the music, yes, there's the rap is in there, but it's so, it's just, it's Lynn. He blends every style of music and throws mm-hmm. it in there. And specifically, this is a love letter to spanish culture the dominican republic to washington puerto heights Rican, uh, community. washington heights new yeah. york it is a it is a yeah. love letter to all that to puerto rico where he's from mm-hmm. and it just it is it is so freaking good i just and and hamilton is very similar to hamilton yes has the rap style that it made it really famous for but it's it's got a lot of of different styles and genres and cultures in there and he is just that good at making making that good of music. I mean, you look at Moana, he wrote all the songs for Moana and there's only one rap part and it's the worst part of the movie is the shiny song. You're, oh, the shiny song. Okay, I thought you were going to say you're welcome. I was oh, like, I guess hey, you're now. welcome is rap. So there, there's that as well. But no, you're yeah, welcome the, is awesome. The shiny song, we can... Yeah, we can but we don't he wrote all the other songs. You're like the guy knows music. Mm-hmm. He knows yeah. music and he is a great actor. I thought he was great in this too. Um, he's great on the HBO show um his dark materials he is awesome Hmm. on that he's great in hamilton he built up so much um the actor uh, name i'm forgetting who plays uh uh president washington in hamilton is in this and they marketed him pretty heavily like he he always got a shot in the movie of him (laughs) and i even remember times like i was watching it like going back to the movies now last couple weeks like that the trailer would come up my mom be like oh i love him He's not even in the movie that much. He's barely in it. Um, it's Didn't he's notice. the ice cream guy. He's the ice cream guy. Oh, that's right. He is. Yeah. Okay, that's um, a good, but that's a good bit though. That that it is. Bit. It's a they tease. did a good. And, yeah. Yeah. It, oh, I it, this I, I am speechless. I don't have a negative. We never got to the negative segment. I don't have a negative. Oh, I yeah. can see. I can see some people thinking 
this movie feels long, that it drags. Yeah. I think it's because John shot it to be more like a Broadway play. I agree. Um, I, it feels like a movie on Broadway than it does yeah. the other way around, which like you look at like Chicago, Moulin Rouge, those movies that, um, or even Wicked or Into the Woods is what I'm thinking that came out a few years ago. Like you look at right, those, right. all the Tom Hooper movies, not Cats, God, not, oh God, not Cats. I just had an aneurysm thinking about that. Um, <laughs> movies. <laughs> top 10 worst movies i've ever had to sit through first time i wanted to walk out god anyway you think of those movies and like they feel like adaptations les mes feels like an adaptation of the broadway play this felt like broadway yeah. on the big screen like it, it felt yeah, yeah. it didn't feel necessarily like a movie um there's a couple twists in it too that i really liked that I thought hit really well and they'd hint at it throughout the movie. And it's really good. The, there's some of the cinematography that John does is awesome. There's a shot in the trailer with him in the, in the, in the shop. He's, he's, he's rapping while everyone else is dancing. That was yes. so beautiful on the big screen. The, the yeah. song we were talking about, that's going to get you that whole sequence was, and I wish we could spoil it because it is, beautiful in every sense from the yeah. lighting to what the actual song is what it's representing it like i realized it halfway through or not even halfway through like pretty quick i was like is this where they're going and i was like oh my god i was looking at the the lighting and like what was happening what was she singing about and all of a sudden i was like mm -hmm. oh my gosh they're going there this is beautiful mm -hmm. i was like this is, and that's part of the reason i started getting choked up because it wasn't just necessarily the sad part it was like the beauty within it i whew, i wish i could sing i would have gone straight to broadway and you know it I'd oh yeah you got the right dancing now. part down yeah <laughs> i got big feet makes it tough to move uh, <laughs> anyway i've ranted is there anything you want to add here um i guess or do you have a nitpicky negative, nitpicky negatives i mean i do agree with you like the runtime is long i didn't feel like it was dragging or i was checking my watch though i do think it is because like they're trying to make it like the most broadway-esque experience possible uh, I think maybe one or two songs, they kind of had some wonky ways to lead into the songs. It wasn't bad, but it was just like, uh, maybe smoother editing or transition or something would have helped. Um, but beyond that, though, this movie was excellent from top to bottom. Just really, really great stuff. Uh, so glad to have this be shown in the theater. It was well worth my time. I mean, my theater gave it an applause. Like, that's I haven't awesome. had that... I don't even know if we had that for like Endgame. Maybe we did, but we did. even still, that's we a did. while ago. Okay, but even, yeah, I don't know. It's still, you don't see that very often. No, you don't. Um, There is one thing, and this would be a nitpick in a positive way, I guess, but like he does a few things, and some of it's in the trailers where he kind of breaks the fourth wall or like John adds some like creative things where it, it feels like, um, you know, like maybe when somebody's moving their hand, all of a sudden there's something following the hand, you know, like that, that's to the show trailers. like what they're motioning about. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. in the final trailer, I know that they do the thing where he touches the, the manhole cover and then it moves yes. like a scratch disc. I wish he had done that more throughout the movie. I wish <laughs> he would have done that more there. There's a song at the end where he really dives into it. And there's a line in the movie. And again, this is in the trailer. Uh, but there's a line in the movie where he says, I wish I could see the world through your eyes, for through her eyes. And I really think that's how John directed it. And when the people who are singing do something like that, we're seeing how they're viewing the world. And so yeah. they they are seeing it so much differently, so much more musically, so much more animated. And that is what was so cool about the movie. And what John, I think, did with his direction on who was singing, when they were singing. Um, and I just, I loved that line. And I, and when I got out of the movie that I just stuck with me, I was like, that's really what he did. He took that line. And mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the, as an audience, whenever you see a movie, you, that's what you're doing is you're following your protagonist through it. You're seeing the movie through that. But I think he took it to a new level and I just, I appreciated it. And I am, I'm pumped to see it again Sunday with my family. And I really want to be sitting next to my sisters and my brothers. Yeah. You know, just jamming along, even though I'm the only one who's so good. It. But uh, 
all, all the weavers with the big feet will be dancing. That's for sure. I'm the only one with the big, They're gonna love big it. feet, but, uh, <laughs> and now I can't stop listening to the soundtrack. You know, I, I woke up this morning pumped because Bo Burnham dropped his new special on Spotify. And I was like, I'm going to listen to this for the next two weeks. And now in the Heights just came and kicked Bo right in, right on out of there because now I'm going to be listening to nothing but in the Heights. Like I just, I'm pumped or Hamilton. If anything, it's just going to make me want to go back and listen to Hamilton or any of the Broadway stuff I listen to. But it also Mm -hmm. has made me, all of this has made me appreciate these new designs with movie musicals. Like I am now more pumped than I already was for Evan Hans, the dear Evan Hansen. Um, Mm, Yeah. And whatever the heck that Andrew Garfield, Vanessa Hudgens movie that Lynn is making. That looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the heck that is, but I'm in, I'm here for it. I don't know what's going yeah. on, but all right. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, people go to the theater. Uh, be safe if you're still being cautious, but uh, go out and enjoy yourself. Is this awesome? Yeah, please do. All right, guys. Uh, comment below. Let us know if you've seen it. If you're going to see it, what do you think of it? What do you think of, of everything we talked about? Uh, go be a member of the Patreon. Go use the promo code Movie Meals. Get 20% off. Um. Uh, please, please go do that. Rem- reminder, no another happy landing this week. Um, yeah, and as always, thanks for watching, Mom. See you guys. <laughs>